Hello my friends, today I will show you another interesting video. Let's get started. Lubuskie Centrum Czystości I did all of my job yesterday. Every rack is washed very well. And today I'm working on my laundry. I'm doing also many things with finishing the walls, as you see here. There will be white panels on the wall. Those are old panels, but I'm cutting them, cleaning and putting into the wall, so they look nice. Today I will show you small repair of the rug. I've got one rug prepared here. As you see, the glue is old here and I will replace it with the new one. This rack is washed very well. As you see, it's a beautiful rack with the circles. I will turn it into the back side. and I will use my glue gun to repair it. As you see, not the whole rack is unglued. Only the pieces, I will repair it. Also here in the corner. Those type of racks are produced in China and sometimes there is used a low quality glue. But this is all the damaged. When I'm washing those type of racks, it's, it never happens to destroy a rack like this. I will show you. Here are some rugs. I have washed them yesterday and I will show you one rug with glue at bottom. It stick very well. It's a shaggy rug and the underside is in very good condition. This is for example woolen rug. The underside is without glue and someone also make, uh, made small repairs here and here to stick this underside into the pile. But it's not a problem when the rack is on the floor. I think the glue gun is ready. This is the cheapest glue gun from supermarket. It have also this nozzle at the end. It's very good for gluing this kind of damage on the rugs. I will show you. We're putting some glue here. And now we can stick it with this tool. And it's finished. It is the fastest way to make the repair like this also here. I'm putting this into under of this material. And it's finished.
also here some glue it's the fastest and the cheapest way for those kind, can, kind of repairs so everybody can do this also at home finished now the corner I will try something like this oh, first I will check that it fits ok and now I can add some glue this glue is very hot for few seconds so I have time to do my job ok and also here ok and also here this glue is very good, good for using with the rags because it's waterproof and in the next washing it cannot be removed and the rag will be will stick very well with it now also here you see that I can make a very precise work with this gun it cost about 10 to 15 dollars in Poland something about 50 złoty here is ok but I need to put here some glue and now I will done this chunk with corner also I am applying the glue into the rack the gloves protects my hands from hot nozzle and the end of this side and corner and now the rack can be used for years with the reparation like this ok and now I will finish the rest of the rug.
and now the corner. As you see, for the whole rack I have used one piece of this and only half. And it's a lot of for use still. Okay, and also some to the end. Very good. It's not a problem when we put too much of this glue because it can be easily removed after Also here. And the last corner. Okay. Oh, now I'm removing the glue that I have put at it too much. But I as I said, it's not a problem because we can remove it easily. Okay. That's all. It's finished. I think that the customer will be very very happy. Here I have also a small package that came last time. Let's open it. I will open it here on the tiles because it's a cleaner place. I've got also my knife. Hadja! Okay. Ah, it's a squeegee from Protima company. And I see it's in few chunks. Power ZB500, that's the name. And it's made of stainless steel, I like it. This is the best material for carpet cleaning tools. Hmm. There is everything I see that I need to assemble it. Oh, also Teflon tape. 
instruction. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do this. This one here. I will leave it for a while that I can move it and when I'm assembling the other parts. Okay, it's finished, I have assembled it, I think it will work very well. Okay, so let's try it on one small rack. I've got small rack for cleaning, it's a very tiny rug, but it definitely needs to be washed. The pile goes through the drain, so I can start washing now. But first, I need to change my uniform. Rag and puff. Oh, much better. Now I'm gonna rinse the rag. Now I'm gonna apply the cleaning solution. And now I'm gonna make the first scrubbing. Now the scrubbing is finished, so let's make a short break. 10 minutes later. And now the second scrubbing.
And now we will try the new squeegee. Aha, the water. So it's giving additional water. I see. Okay. I will remove the dirt here. You see that this rack is very dirty. A dirty water is leaking also from the underside of the rack. Now I will use the press pressure washer. Now I will apply the cleaning solution the second time and then I will use the scrubbing machine. This time I will use the soft brushes because this rack isn't trumpet as much.
Now I will apply the cleaning solution into the underside of the rug. And now I will use the pressure washer. I think that this squeegee can be good in the last step of the cleaning process. But I don't have a bigger water pressure here. The gripping is very good, but the water pressure here is too small. It needs bigger amount of water, but it's good. Especially if someone doesn't have a water buffer with a pump. Everything is in one tool. And you see that the water is almost clear. I can do this one more time. I think that this tool is very good for finishing the rack as last step before centrifuge. When we see that the water is clear, then we can roll up the rack, the rack and put into the centrifuge. Okay. Okay, I'm finished today. I hope you are enjoy watching this short video. And I have a lot of work today also to done, to done. If you enjoy watching, please hit the subscribe button. You can leave the comment, give us a like, and see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah, don't you? Okay. <laughs>